Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joseph Ward, and welcome to my own The Shoulders of Giants YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this channel. And that notification button, click that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you will know what's going on. African history at your fingertips through this channel. You're getting biographies of your sung and unsung heroes right at your fingertips. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about On the Shoulders of Giants. Well, you can learn about yourself and we tell our own stories. Peace out. Dr. Betty Wright Harris. On July 29th, 1940, Betty Wright Harris was born to parents Henry Hudson Jake Wright and Lagertha Evelyn Thomas Wright in Washita Parish, Monroe, Louisiana. She was one of 11 children raised on the farm her parents worked on until they were able to buy the farm. Harris was a brilliant child and she enrolled into Southern University at the age of 16. Her mother, Lethurgia, was a school teacher and taught her children the value of gaining an education. At the age of 19, Harris graduated from Southern University with a bachelor's degree in science before moving to Atlanta to attend Atlanta University and graduating with a master's degree in chemistry. After earning her bachelor's and master's degrees, Harris was employed by Mississippi Valley State University, Southern University, and Colorado College as an assistant professor of chemistry and mathematics. She would meet and marry a man named Alloyd A. Harris, and they would have three children. Harris began completing doctoral level chemistry assignments at the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee before accepting a position to work at IBM. She next accepted a position to work as a visiting staff member at the Los Alamos National Laboratory located in New Mexico. Because Harris lived in New Mexico, she enrolled in the University of New Mexico in 1973 and earned her PhD in chemistry. Her dissertation titled Reactions of Two Amino Pyridine with Picrohalides was so prolific that it was published in the Journal of Heterocyclic Chemistry. While working at the Los Alamos National Laboratory, her concentrations were explosives and nuclear weapons, cleanup of hazardous materials, and environmental restoration. She also gave much attention to explosive detection, characterization of intensive high explosives, synthesis, sensitivity of weather high explosives, and safing liquids. Harris was known for using the local Girl Scouts to get young black girls interested in chemistry. She also developed a Girl Scouts badge for chemistry. Harris's brilliance was on full display during her time at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. She gained a wealth of knowledge which led her to creating her invention, the TATB spot test or U.S. patent 4,618,452. In 2002, Harris retired from the Los Alamos National Laboratory and took a position as the Chief of Chemical Technology, managing technical laboratories and investigated coal end corrosion of super alloys for Solar Tribune Incorporated. Harris also worked as a certified document reviewer for the U.S. Department of Energy Office of Classification. She had access to data that was considered restricted due to a special clearance called a Q-clearance. In 1999, she received a Governor's Award and was considered one of the most outstanding women in New Mexico. She was the president of New Mexico's Business for Professional Women's Organization, a member of Women in Science and Engineering, the National Society for Advancement of Science, and was a member of the American Chemical Society for 50 years. Harris is one of the world's leading experts in explosives, and her TATB spot test helped the U.S. military and the Department of Homeland Security to be able to detect different types of explosives. Her brilliance was nurtured early in life by her parents, which led to her being able to literally revolutionize the world of chemistry. Dr. Betty Wright Harris, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com. And for more information about the On the Shoulders of Giants nonprofit organization, visit www.ontheshoulders.org.